Hello again everyone and just wanted to give a quick video in case you missed class or needed to go back and review something. As you know, everything that we're doing is on the wellness page of my website and don't forget to type the HTML at the end. It's an older website. I still update it, but it's used, it uses an older software program. So um, yesterday we went through an introduction in class and we defined health and defined wellness and the short version is that health is usually just talking about physical things and wellness is about all areas. Now the medical profession has been changing as of late to include in the intellectual, social, emotional and spiritual sections into their health practices. So they ask people about depression and stress and things like that. And we oftentimes talk about a wellness wheel. I specifically pointed out that Claremont University, Northwest Missouri State, and Princeton, I have links to their sites about the wellness wheel. There's a lot of information online about the wellness wheel, and almost everyone will include a sixth section. But the sixth section sometimes varies. And in my last video, I mentioned that it, it oftentimes is educational or environmental or occupational or financial. And Marquette University used to have a wellness wheel that had all four of these things, along with the five that I put in Pisces, but they, uh, they, they don't have that. And uh, in case I didn't mention it in the last video, Pisces was an acronym given to me by a guy named Dr. Tom Evil in Temple University uh, way back when I was an undergrad there between 1990. Uh, September of 1993 and May of 1997, so it always stuck with me. Okay, that said, fast forwarding now, literally, to today's point. At the end of class yesterday, we spoke about how there were six critical types of team behavior contributing to the leading causes of death and disability, and that was a confirmed a previously published article that was confirmed by the CDC in 2018. You can search, literally search six critical types of teen behavior contributing to leading causes of death and disability. You'll find this article and the answers, and some of these are paraphrased for class, but the answers are poor eating habits, lack of physical activity, tobacco use, violence, including self-violence, alcohol and drug use, and sexual behaviors. And that can also be translated. You can take the word teen out and just say, Six critical types of behavior contributing to the leading causes of death and disability. Of special note in the United States, the leading causes of death are largely due to risk factors or behaviors. Risk factor illnesses are sometimes called Western illnesses in other countries. Um, less developed countries tend to have this, uh, uh, deaths associated with disease and poor water uh, and malnutrition. Europe, South America, Asia, they tend to live longer or they tend to die from accidents and also communicable diseases. Uh, Southeast Asia especially has very low rates of cancer and, and uh, Europe has a lower rate of obesity and most of it has to do with the types of foods that we're eating but a lot of it has to do with the things that Western civilization does in terms of um, in terms of our behaviors, our excessive behaviors. So, the top 10 killers of teens, according to Very Well Health in November 2018, are accidents, suicide, homicide, complications from drugs and alcohol, cancers, heart disease, congenital conditions and abnormalities, including those passed down by a mother, such as HIV. So that's a disease, of course, but HIV is a virus that causes AIDS and so uh, for some reason, they included that. It's not really a, a genetic disorder or abnormality, but they included that in the survey. Chronic obstructive disease or breathing disorder, stro stroke and flu and pneumonia. So those are the top 10 leading cause of death of teens in the United States. Um, notice that the top ones are all behavioral. The top four are all behavioral, which is sad, but... Now, if you were in class, you did a brainstorming session as you entered the classroom, trying to figure out what the list of the top 14 things that the CDC says that you can do to add years to your life. And here's the answer. These are the 14 things. And without boring you reading them each one, I'm going to stop talking and let you be able to read it on your own.
Uh, this is where the video is going to end in class. We're also going to go and look at sleep and the importance of sleep because we won't talk about that in two other classes. If you go back to my previously listed website, you'll be able to see that that, um, that there's a couple videos concerning sleep specifically, and there's a homework assignment associated with sleep on the Google Classroom. So you can watch the videos on your own. If you're not in my class and you're just using this somewhere else in the school district or somewhere else in the country, then uh, go back to this website. I'm going to go back here now. Go back to this website, karabi.net slash hpe underscore wellness dot html. Scroll down. Inside the team brain, around 32 minutes, they start talking about sleep. How much sleep do you need from ASAP Science and Sleep and Teens from Emily Bronson, also on YouTube. And thank you again for all of your work and your help. And um, please keep it up. Let's have a good year this year in class. Thank you.